This is Liz Entwistle here at West Coast Sevens. I'm alongside legendary coach Jack Clark with the Cal Berkeley team. The Golden Bears have advanced into the Cup semifinals with their first team and their second team, both competing this weekend. A program five-time champions here of the West Coast Sevens tournament, winning the event in 16, 17, 18, as well as last year in 2021. So Jack, with two teams advancing so far, are there any keys that you have into your upcoming games? Well, we haven't. We actually haven't been that good. Um, you know, we've struggled uh, with kickoffs, and um, we've had a lot of possession. But when we've had to play defense, we haven't been really that good at it. So, I think the Cal team is a little bit more experienced. So they're um, they're doing better than the Bear side, which is more developmental. But yeah, it's good for them both to get through and play one more game, and it'll be against a good team. So that's good. Yeah, so thrilling matchups. We're going to first see this Cal team take on Cal Poly, and then the Bears taking on rivals, St. Mary's College. The team's advancing on to West Coast Sevens at Treasure Island in two weeks. We have Pac-12 Sevens ahead, and then you get straight into a busy D1A rugby schedule. In terms of the Berkeley program overall and the sexes that you've had, where has that tradition really like come through, and how is it shining this weekend? Well, I mean, there's just so many uh, young guys. I mean, in this year's team, I think there's only really a handful of guys that have... Uh, you know, played meaningful minutes in, in big games. And uh, so we're a little shy of that credential that the program has as a team. And that's what makes it fun, you know. I mean, it's, uh, you know, well, we, we graduation, we lost a lot of really good players. And uh, um, I think we'll especially struggle in the, in the back five and the, and the forwards when the locks in the back row. Um, and, but, you know, it, it's there's some good young players in the program. So it's, it's, uh, it's it's about time, you know. They need time. Uh, they they need to have a year under their belt of, and maybe a second year. And I think you know they'll come right. Normally, by end of their second year, third year, you know, we have players that uh, can develop into helping us. So this is all part of that process. Yeah, and what a process it is. Two teams advancing today. A program with multiple championships under its belt. They are the defending champions of the Pac-12 Sevens, had a stellar performance over UCLA last year, another storied program. So definitely a team to watch for as the season continues on. Thanks so much for your time, Jack. Yeah, cheers. Thank you.